are thousands of parts on our P-39 Era Cobra. Between missing and mangled pieces, we've had to remake as many as half of them. Each part is made by hand, one at a time. It's a lot of work. Today we'll take you behind the scenes to show you how we do that. Hi, I'm Phil Vera. I'm a volunteer here at the Aviation Museum and have been for 17 years. I'm currently working on wing ribs for the P-39 project. We start with a full-scale copy of the plan for the part we're making. Next, we cut out the drawing and glue it to a piece of aluminum of the appropriate thickness. Now, we use the metal shear to trim the excess aluminum. The aluminum is then screwed to a piece of scrap plywood. This makes it more rigid for the next steps. We cut out the piece along the outline of the drawing using a bandsaw and finally shape it to the exact dimensions with the sander. Now we drill the necessary holes with the drill press and we end up with the finished web of the rib. But we still need to build the flanges. And these are made by bending narrow strips of aluminum on the bending brake. Got the flange, I got the web. We still have to do some metal forming to make the flange fit at the contour of the rib. We make that fit by stretching one side of the flange, which creates a slight curve. And now the curve of the flange matches the rib. We drill holes in the flange to match the holes along the edges of the rib and insert Clecos, small sheet metal clamps, to hold everything in place. There we go. Finally, we rivet the pieces together. Here we are using aircraft pop rivets because these parts will not be seen. We use solid aircraft rivets on exterior parts which will be visible. And after all that work, we end up with a part like this with maybe several hundred more to go. Thanks to Phil for that demonstration, and thanks to all our volunteers who turn sheets of raw aluminum into a finished aircraft. We hope you're enjoying this series. Please consider sharing it with others. And stay tuned for more episodes as we go behind the scenes in the Alberta Aviation Museum Restoration Shop. See you next time.